So today I want to show you guys how to create an extruded effect or like a pop-out effect using Camtasia Studio 8.1. So what I want to do is zoom in to a specific part of the screen and kind of pop that out while still showing what's happening in the canvas. So normally if I wanted to focus on a specific part of the screen, I'd just zoom in, scale it to 100%, and realign it. But uh, while this is crisp and clear, I've actually lost sight of what's going on in the canvas area. And since what I'm adjusting over here affects what things look like over there, I need to be able to see both in the context of the other. So what I can do to make that happen is pop this area out. To start, I need to figure out where I want the effect to begin. So I'll place my playhead right about here and make a selection from here to about here. Now I need to copy the selection, so I'm going to use the hotkey Control C and paste it by using Control V. So now I've got two copies of the same clip on my timeline. Uh, and next, I'm going to crop the unneeded areas out. So I'll go up here and click the Crop button to turn Crop Mode on. And you can see that now there's this uh, thin blue border around the edges to indicate that Crop Mode is on. And uh, I'll just crop out everything except for what I want you guys to see on the Properties panel. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so that I can crop this area more precisely and then turn off crop mode since I'm done. So right now, if I scrub over the clips, nothing looks any different. But if I add a custom animation where I want the zoom in to start by pressing the hotkey Z, and then add another at the end where I want the panel to zoom back out, all I have to do is change what happens in the middle. So I'll scale it up a bit. And now when I play it back, you'll see it pops out. And I can see exactly what's going on in the properties, as well as what's going on in the canvas. You can also add a drop shadow to make sure that the pop-out doesn't blend into the background. Just split the clip at the end of each animation so that the shadow doesn't appear when the panel is its normal size. And then apply a drop shadow to the middle section. I'll just tweak it a little bit to make sure that everything looks good. And now when I play it back, the pop-out has a little bit more polish. So that's it. Uh, hopefully you found this useful, and thanks for watching.